Alrighty then, my role chums, it is I, Daniel, you may call me the Pop Culture Dude, and today, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, aka Sonic Movie 2, is officially out on Paramount Plus, May 24th on a Tuesday, eh, eh, get the reference? But all that aside, we're gonna make a reaction to the brand new animated short, Sonic Drone Home, which is produced by the same producers, written by the same writers, Pat Casey and Josh Miller, and even one of the writers, Pat Casey, confirmed that they were writing the script for this short film when director Jeff Fowler was shooting the movie during around this time, and it's a five minute short film, it takes place after the second movie where we have Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, it's a fully CG animated short, that means there's no human characters, no Tom, no Maddie, no Agent Stone, or even Crazy Carl or Wade, just Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles where it takes place after the second movie, they're out of the junkyard to take down one of Robotnik's Badnik drones. And I saw one of the clips on Twitter or on social media where, hey, I noticed that voice, that's Ben Schwartz. And then when I hear Tails and Knuckles, I'm like, wait a minute, that's not Colleen O'Shaughnessy, and that's definitely not Idris Elba. And then when I look up the cast, I'm like, oh, okay, so it's kind of like, voice doubles like you know when a celebrity like Idris Elba is pretty busy and they probably need like a voice actor to make him like sound exactly identical to the movie Knuckles so they hire Fred Tassator who voices the Hulk, Yosemite Sam, Rhino, he's a great voice actor and then this voice actress named Allison Packard if I pronounce the name right where she voices Jabanya from Yo-Kai Watch I'm surprised that Colleen O'Shaughnessy did not voice Tails I mean she is a voice actress herself so for Knuckles, it was kind of understanding because, you know, Idris is a busy celebrity, but Colleen, I'm a little bit confused, but the voices don't bother me from that one short clip, but for today, we're just going to watch this new animated short just because it's like Sonic Movie 2.5, but if you haven't owned the movie yet, it's going to be out on Paramount Plus today, and you can buy it on digital where they have deleted scenes, bloopers, behind the scenes, a Q&A with Ben Schwartz, and possibly a commentary with director Jeff Fowler and Ben Schwartz. So, try not to make this intro way too long, let's get into the reaction video of Sonic Far From Drone Alone. Haha, <laughs> get it? Anyway, let's start the video. Yoink! Nice. The piano Green Hill cover. <laughs> Still say dishonor. He's breaking the fourth wall, PG rated Deadpool. Yeah, you could definitely tell that the Knuckles voice is very distinct, how Fred's voicing. Junkyard, turn your scrap into cash. Green Hills cash. Can't be the scene if you don't have the green. But I gotta say, the animation looks very great from the CG short. If the Knuckles series is something like this, I would totally be sold on it. Wally! Just kidding. I'm surprised the drone can talk. The only drone. Hey, Robotnik's theme. This was the clip I saw on social media. Not the books about adopting children. <laughs> He said it! He said, Knuckles Sandwich! <laughs> you did not know the way, my brother. The opening theme from Sonic 1. Very expressive animation. Ha! <laughs> Green Hills, and he sees Knuckles' small little furry butt cheeks. Skin rock the bottom! Likewise said, the animation looks very well fluid. Ha! <laughs> I like that the traffic light was shooting red, yellow, and green. Red! Yellow, green! Likewise said, this is just a masterpiece. I mean, it's made by Marza Animation, the same team that made the Sonic Unleashed cinematic cutscene, so... Good job, Marza Animation. Huh. At least it wasn't no Nickelodeon green slime. Hey, what do you know? It's the tool that Tails used in the second movie. Well... Oh! It's Tom's truck from Sonic 1! Because it was destroyed in a junkyard. Like I said, how does this Batnik talk? Wait, it's a helicopter now? Jeez Louise. It's like Wally -E and that small little rover robot from Planet 51, if somebody knows what I'm talking about. Ha, <laughs> unit is victorious. <laughs> Flynn Rider meme. Is 
Is that a baseball glove? <laughs> exactly. Sounds like something that Robotnik would say. I'm going to slave humanity and force them to service my machines. Really? I never know. Robotnik's badness could have like an aspiration of poetry. Wait, I think I just saw that princess from that one Burger King knockoff stand-in that was cut from the first movie. I noticed that Easter egg. Literally, that sock it tells to sit down to listen to this bat next. Oh! <laughs> Those will be like, stand still and die! <laughs> hey, uh, the scoreboard from Sonic 2 where Knuckles did a power bump and the baseball just crashed through the sign. <laughs> this is the early phase of Orban Cuba before they exist in the movie franchise. Yeah, because you know, when it comes to trusting robots, they'll become evil at some point. Especially if it's made by someone who betrayed him as a friend. Like I said, it still sounds like it's programmed to Robotnik. Hey, he said Team Sonic. <laughs> what a coincidence to make it shape like a chili dog. Wow, that's it? Wow, like I said, it was really that short. So, now I have questions. Now that Tails has kept the Batnik along with them and says the Batnik actually has aspirations of poetry and doesn't want to be completely evil, does that mean this has like a connection to Sonic 3 since this is taking place after the second movie? I mean, it's made by the same producers, same writers, Ben Schwartz voice Sonic, and I know they got different voice actors, which they did a nice job voicing Tails and Knuckles, I will give them that, but you know, it's not the same without Colleen or Idris, but you know, they'll come back for the third movie. Especially Idris Elba will definitely indeed voice Knuckles for the Knuckles series on Paramount+, Plus, especially since Jeff Fowler update details with it, including Idris Elba himself. The, the best uh, the, the best possible outcome would be to get to to tell more stories and to continue like with with Knuckles. I mean, he's such an incredible character. I think fans are gonna just walk out of this movie wanting more of him like immediately. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, it, it would be uh, it'd be wonderful to be part of that planning. Is there anything you can say about the Knuckles series? Uh, well, we don't know what it is yet, but we're finding it. I think that we, you know, he, Knuckles is a fish out of water. He's new to the planet. I think we might explore that. Little food blog or something. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he can food blog about how delicious are the grapes, because after all, the grapes, grapes are, are delicious. delicious. But regardless, that's the only update we have for the Knuckles series, which maybe it could come out next year on Paramount Plus? Who knows? Which is why I recommend you guys should subscribe to Paramount Plus for those who don't have it, because the second movie is available on that service, aside from the first movie, of course, the Knuckles series and Sonic 3, and that's all that we can know. But for the digital edition of the movie where it has behind the scenes, bloopers, and deleted scenes, well, if there's like deleted scenes or bloopers that I can find online, I can make that as a separate reaction video that I could upload soon. But aside from that it's really nice that we got the short film that i decided to make a reaction video just to see some interesting bonus content of sonic movie 2 where it's made by the same company that did the animation for the sonic unleashed cinematics and they did a really good job with the colorful schemes how the expressive faces of sonic tails and knuckles were throughout this small mini short and they reused music from the first movie so I thought it was cute. I like that this was a nice bonus addition to Sonic Movie 2 and gives us the idea of Sonic and Tails and Knuckles teaming up together because I like their team up from the last movie, the second one, and the final battle and we get to see briefly of that in the short film and then we're going to see more of it in the third film when they get to face their next opponent, Shadow the Hedgehog. And for the Batnik drone, hopefully if it becomes good or bad, who knows, it depends if Jim Carrey's Robotnik may return or not. But at least Jeff Fowler has high hopes that Jim Carrey will come back, no matter how many times he will call him for Sonic 3. Totally. Is he? Do you think he's really going to retire? I hope not. I, I would not even begin to speculate. Uh, I, I, I will call him every day and beg him not to, if that's what it takes. I will too. <laughs> well, I'll keep calling. <sighs> Just keep crossing fingers until time will tell. But aside from that, if you guys enjoyed my reaction video, thank you guys so much for watching. I probably might make a deleted scenes and bloopers, so you can watch the movie right now on Paramount Plus, buy it on digital, or wait for physical copy releases on August 9th for Blu-ray, DVD, and Steelbooks. And that's all I have to say about this video. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, now streaming on Paramount+. Plus.